Okay, this is using a PWM loop, and as you can see, it's there flickering, which means that it's actually doing a PWM. And you can hear the relays kind of clacking in the point sequence now, and that's because they're being intermediate them. And here we have the current's brought right down now. Obviously it's flickering, but I'm saying we're talking about in the region of between 15 and 20 amps instead of 60. The wheel's obviously turning still, just slower. And I can tell you now that the amount of smell that's coming off that battery is a lot less. See? And that's using the new PWM loop. <coughs> Turn this off. That's not actually in. You should be able to see it still. It's not. You can see that the arcing isn't as bad now, actually. In fact, I can't see any arcing, although it's obviously, it obviously will still be, but what will be happening is that it's actually, because of the induction, there is already a current present, so it's not actually bridging it quite as hard as when there's no current present. Yeah. See? And you can see, I don't know if I can get both wheels in. Uh, it's a bit too dark, I think, to get both wheels in the shot. Basically, it can stop one wheel and the other one continues to turn, as you can't see because the light's a bit low, but it, it does work like that. <coughs> so there's enough to basically make sure that the wheels turn smoothly. And that is on a, let me just show you, so that is a 50% duty cycle because we've got 5F there, which is the mark. Spay, the initial mark, and I haven't altered it, and that's the 5F. So that's 50% duty cycle, and that's made it. I mean, you've got to allow for it being a bit unstable, but we're certainly talking a lot less, which is good.